Oh hell yeah! Check it out fellas. Look at this water. Look how clear it is, huh? We got Simplex fishing right over here, getting ready with the raw holders, all of our stuff over here, nobody else around. If you folks follow me on the YouTube channel, you know where I am. Today we're here at the Round Valley Reservoir in Clinton, New Jersey, huh? So yeah, let's get this fishing session started, huh? Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full Fishing Channel. Listen up, listen up. Come closer, ladies and gentlemen, come closer. Winter Fishing 101 with EPF. Last video here on the YouTube channel. You guys saw it, I caught my first fish of 2021. This video, we're going to change focus a little bit. You know, I want to catch something for dinner. Now, if you guys are locals and you have been to the Round Valley Reservoir, mighty Round Valley Reservoir, you know that this place supposedly is loaded with trout. So the main objective of the day is pretty clear. We just want to catch some trout for dinner and a little side quest too, you know, because winter time, around this time of the year, it's actually pretty nice to try to catch some lake trout, the Salvelinus namaikush. So I guess the side quest for today will be to catch one of those. I am very excited about today's fishing session, so I'm gonna go and show you guys now the bait and the setup that I'm going to be using for today. And boy, hopefully this afternoon, with the weather as it is, 45 degrees Fahrenheit and raising, the action is going to be hot. Before I get this fishing session started, you know what? Let me give you guys a little background information on the Round Valley Reservoir for those who are not local. This is one of New Jersey's trophy trout watersheds, meaning that there are special regulations for this particular place, okay? Rainbow trout, the Oncorin cosmicus, and brown trout, the Salmo truta, they are both a minimum of 15 inches, two species combined. So as you guys can see already, uh, the size of the fish over here is a little bit, you know, bigger than the rest of the area and they also have the lake trout the salvelinus namaikush as i mentioned in the introduction right those you can actually take six a day five is lot limit i will leave the sizes here in the video and one of them a little bit bigger now locals know about this this is one of the deeper bodies of water in new jersey some places in here get to a hundred feet so as you guys can see, right, the setup that I'm using for today, we got a slip sinker set up with a huge, long leader, okay? And that's because I'm going to be using an assortment of baits, as you guys will see right over here. We got the whole buffet, man. Ain't that right, Dave? Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. We got power bait. Look at that. That's why we got the long leader over there. For the lake trout, we got super, super yummy little shiners check it out huh let me catch a few for you all look at that yummy yummy tiny shiners okay hey go back in the bucket we also got worms if we need we got wax worms hell yeah bro let me tell you we got the whole shebang bang out here you know so we're gonna set three rods now uh i probably gonna go with Two with power bait to get started, one with shiner. How about you, bro? What you gotta uh, do? Probably do one shiner, one power bait, and see what happens. All right, dude, and we got lures over here too. Maybe we're gonna run some spinners, cast it out, let it drop, you know? But the goal of the day, don't forget, we're gonna catch some dinner. Oh, wow, you got a full shiner there, huh? Shiner, dude. About to send it to heaven, huh? Hopefully it doesn't fly, I'm just a little fling it out there. Uh, that's fine, you know, you don't know if they're actually all oh the way my out. God, That's fine, dude. We still got 35 to go, bro. What the heck? Practice makes it perfect. 
Dude says he's going to redeem himself. Talking to the shiner. It's a little fling it out there, fling it out there, fling it out there. Oh, shiner's on, bro. Shiner's on, bro. It's good. That's good. I got three different flavors of Power Bay with me. I'm using the salmon peach at the moment, one of my favorite flavors. And you know, this is important actually. When you put your weight on your egg sinker, you do have to make sure that the egg sinker is not too heavy. Because if it is too heavy and you bomb it out there, your power bait may fall off the hook on impact in the water. As you guys can see, pretty deep. Line is still going down. Finally hit bottom. There we go. And that's it. That's the game. I'm gonna cast one this way, one is straight one to the left and hopefully soon we're going to get some hits dave you gotta bite dave last one last one go for it run run dude run run i don't know if it is on or not got the net oh, oh, oh hell yeah dude Oh hell yeah dude, get, get it, get, get, get it, no, 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 that one, that one, that one dude, that one, <laughs> that, this one, that one bro. Shiner or power bait? Oh, uh, this is a shiner. Oh hell yeah. Oh, I, I still hear it. Oh, 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 it's on, right? Oh, it, oh it's off? Or is it still on? Bro, I think it, wait, hold on. Is it swimming your way or pop off? I think it popped off. Oh, dude. At least we know there's something around now. There's always a next time, you know? Yeah, that's a very good sign, very good sign. You know, you guys don't see it, but right now it's 3.12 p.m. We've been out here fishing for three hours, and as you guys can see, we even move spots. We're fishing here now. We were actually fishing all the way over there before. I tell you what, the bite has been slow, but that right there was a very good sign. So hopefully it is going to pick up. I got two shiners and a power bait out there. I think Dave got all three shiners and that bite was on the shiner. So we'll see. Oh, 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 oh. Fish up, fish up. It's on boy. Easy, 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 easy. Oh yeah, boy. Can you grab the net for me, babe? Please. I appreciate it, man. It doesn't feel like a. It doesn't feel like a lake trout, though, man. Yeah, this one feels like pretty tiny, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Look, look at that. I think it's a small rainbow, bro. Small rainbow. I think so. I got him, my dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know. Oh shit. Yeah, it looks like a lake in there. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out, bro. We'll find out. Yeah, it's not really. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm taking it easy. Oh yeah, it's a laker. It's a laker. Yeah, I think it's a laker. Yeah, it's a laker, little laker. They're trying to trying to head, you know. Take it easy with it. Easy now, boy. Easy. You know, that's the moment they put the head out of the water, bro, and they do that shake. Bubble. Yeah, and then you pull, you know? That's when it kind of comes out, you know? Yeah, Laker. All right. Oh, easy, bro. Easy. I got my drag set up pretty, pretty nice here, but still. I mean, I'm, I'm taking it. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to take it home if you can harvest anyway, so. Yeah, you see that? That's why you gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you gotta watch out, man. He sees you, bro, that final rush, you know, man? Hell yeah, dude. Not tired yet, bro? Beautiful, isn't it? 
I got waterproof socks. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm good. Water is cold, but. So I kind of wish I had a longer net, though. Little, little, you know, Cortland is cool and everything, but. Ah, you see, I told you we go continental on their asses, bro. See that, bro? You see the zoom? You see that right now, bro? Like tennis, man. Been training for this day, bro. Oh, hell yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out, huh? Got a little lake trout over here in the live well. Can check the little side quest, put it out of the way. Now we're going to measure this fish. This was my first bite of the day. Like I told you guys, Dave had one and sadly he lost it. This was my first one. And you know, sunset's coming. So hopefully the afternoon, things are going to heat up a little bit. Check it out. Beautiful fish, all right? We're going to measure right now, make sure if this makes the cut between 15 and 24, right? For a slot. So, I mean, if it is higher than 15, it's gonna be dinner, boy, you know what I'm saying? All right, had a zero. Oh yeah, dude. It's a 20, it's like a 22. 22? Yeah, 20, 22 incher yeah. right over here. So definitely it's a lot between 15 and uh, 24. That's beautiful, man. I'm gonna take a few photos, but good dinner right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the deed is done. As you guys can see, I got my cooler here with me. And I always emphasize on this YouTube channel, right? You got to kill it in a humane way. So I just gave one cut here to the back of the head. As you guys can see, fish is gonna be good dinner. Put it in the cooler. We still got maybe one and a half hour until sunset. I really want Dave to at least catch one. I think he never called a lake trout before. So hopefully that's going to happen today. We will see. Ladies and gentlemen, don't even talk about the winter. The winter is already here. Sunset is coming. <laughs> it is about 4.30 p.m., 4.21 p.m. And today was rather a brutal day of fishing here uh, at the Round Valley Reservoir, eh? But again, at the beginning of this video, it's not like I told you guys that it was going to be slay fast, right? Leo Shanger boy here didn't tell you we have been landing fish left and right, right? So, you know, Dave had one bite. Uh, I landed one fish. Winter fishing, you all, you know? I'm just being realistic, right? I could hype it up, but I, I am not, right? But on the other hand, it is not like I'm discouraging people from coming outdoors here to enjoy some winter fishing in this video, right? It is actually quite the opposite. You know, let this portion of the video be the educational portion of this video, okay? Once winter comes, a lot of people they like to complain about the, the cons of winter, right? Water temperature, uh, too cold out there, you suffer, a uh, kayaker passing right in front of her fishing lines, you know? Uh, people say that fish get more lethargic and therefore, you know, it's harder to catch fish, which is all true. But don't forget that winter has some pros as well, right? That nobody likes to talk about. Like the lake trout, the Salvelinus Namaikush that we landed in this video. I'm sorry, fellas, I had to cut a little bit of footage over here, you know, uh, talking to the friendly kayaker. But anyways, as I was saying, winter has its pros, you know what I'm saying? Like the lake trout that I caught today, the Salvelinus namaikush. Did you know, for example, that the lake trout is a species of fish that favors colder water, right? So if you come here to the Round Valley Reservoir during the summertime, when water temperature is like 70 degrees Fahrenheit, where do you think these lake trout are going to be? In particular, in a place, like I mentioned before, that can get up to 100 feet deep, right? They're going to be all the way out there in the deep holes, right? So sometimes, particularly summertime, hotter months, it is quite tough to catch these species of fish. But once winter comes and water temperature drops to about 40 degrees Fahrenheit or even less, right? Now this fish likes to get out there and swim around. So in conclusion, right? Winter time is January, February around my area. One, you know, these are the few months 
that you can actually come out to the Round Valley Reservoir and fish from shore and potentially catch a lake trout, right? So anyways, let this video be a reminder, right? I'm not discouraging anyone from coming out here. One fish a day, one bite a day, that's pretty common during the winter time, right? But as EPF told you, man, even in the previous episode, as far as you get your butt out of your couch and you come out here and you grind it out, right? You may just get rewarded, all right? Anyways, I hope you've been enjoying this winter series, fellas. This is it for today. Time to go back home, man. Feel like a sucker, you know? Uh, have some good dinner. Uh, winter series will continue. Don't worry. All right. Stay tuned. I will see you all next time.